Hi guys, I am Dr. Krantika Chiluka. I am doing my residency in anesthesiology. The thing is, during this COVID outbreak, we have been seeing patients whose chest condition is deteriorating really bad. And the thing is, we were not able to hear the chest. So with this, I have come up with an idea where we can hear the patient's chest and heart sounds through an external speaker. And for all that, you just need a few things. You just need a stethoscope. A normal stethoscope. Uh, I have or had Moripen, and that would work. And then you need this. You need a microphone. And then you need a cutter. And then you need a pair of scissors. And this microphone should have an audio jack at one end and the mic at another uh, another end. The thing is, uh, here we come. First, you need to cut it out. See, I have already cut it out. Take the chest piece. You have to take your microphone the thing is you have to insert this microphone into the chest piece so in order for in order to do this you just have to remove this external cover which is just a sponge covering you can remove that and the next thing is it will have a cap it will have a see this it will have a little cap over it so you have to remove this cap you just have to rotate it anti-clockwise and it would open see and this is all you can get this is the original mic that's there and you have to keep this mic inside this thing inside this thing the thing is it won't fit in it won't fit in the, it, the diameter of this is really thick so you have to groove it up so you have to trim this down and for this I used a pair of scissors and just insert it and rotate it it will it would trim the edges it will thin it out and then you have to you can get your microphone now so you have to keep this microphone inside of this yeah and yeah it's it's a little bit tough but it would go eventually it went in see the thing is it has to go sufficiently inside like there should be no external noise that should penetrate into this microphone through any other area so you have to you know push it deep inside and then See this. So this is what you can get, uh, and you have to connect this end to your phone, to any mobile phone, and just see. I'm just connecting now to my phone. So you just have to connect it out and have to listen to your heart sounds. Make sure the step is on. See so yeah, how you can do it is you have to open your voice recorder in your mobile phone and then place it here and then you have to start if it shows the waveforms then it is recording the voice if it doesn't shows up then it's not recording so then you have to make sure that the chest piece is on and then you have to auscultate it so you can see that the waveforms are in the pattern of a heartbeat and if you take the breaths you can also feel them in the waveforms in the voice recorder so you have you just have to auscultate and then as long as you can hear this thing uh, it would work I mean I just tried it, it it's working and the thing is you just have to record it and then you have to play it in the speaker and when you play it over a speaker you can actually hear the hard sounds I would play them for you which I have recorded just today my hard sounds and my lung sounds See that says my S1 and S2 is good with no murmur and my chest is clear. 
but the problem with this is there are a few exceptions where it won't work first thing is you should have a noise free environment and the second thing is you should have good recording equipment like uh, your inbuilt phone recorder would be good enough and the third thing is you should have a good attachment with the chest piece and the patient's bare chest like the diaphragm should be in direct contact with the patient's chest there should be no cloth or no hair make sure that you shave off the patient's chest hair before you placing it on and the next thing is you should have good audio system the audio system should have sufficient volume so that you can raise it until you hear the heart and lung sounds of the patient so after all this you will have an added advantage the thing is you can directly send the sound through whatsapp through other doctors who will be sitting at their home or at their workplace so that they can hear your patient's heart and lung sounds from their place and i think you like it so please like share comment and subscribe i'll keep uploading useful content like this